Morning, Steve Green in Chicago with the Morning Grant Comet. It's an interesting day. It's month end. It's also USDA report day and export sales report day, and we still have updates on the weather. So a lot going on. As far as the overnight prices, just a little bit better as we get ready for the report and the export sales. June was a pretty volatile month in the grains. Uh, November soybean started at 1068, went up to 1186, and now it's back down to 1116. If we think about it, uh, with the 65 cent uh, limits, limit down is 1047, limit up is 1177. And the corn, these corn started at 416, went to 449, now is at 384. Uh, a limit move down, it would be 358, and a limit move up today would be 408. For the wheat, it started at 485 on the September, went to 533, and now is at 446. Everything is bearish wheat. Uh, wheat right now um, is going to be following the rest of the markets as harvest uh, ends, but there's just too much wheat in the world. U.S. dollars somewhat mixed. Stocks markets also mixed, and crudes a little bit lower. Um, overnight, there were some scattered showers across parts of the western Midwest. There's still some showers there today. Six to ten day and the eight to fourteen day maps hint of normal to above temps and normal rains, especially in the east. 11 to 15 day maps are real mixed right now, but the consensus is normal to above temps and normal rain. So if I'm a corn plant, this is a good forecast for pollination. The weekly export sales for wheat should be somewhere in the three to 600,000 ton area. Last week it was 463 corn, somewhere around a million tons. Last week it was 871. Whole crop beans, five to 800,000 tons. New crop, six to 800,000 tons. We continue to see Chinese interest in U.S. soybeans. We've got the acreage and stocks report today. 11 o'clock, we'll come out with a new video. We'll be a lot smarter at 11 o'clock than we are now. But most look for more soybean acres, which should be bearish. And we also should see June stocks higher for corn, beans, and wheat than a year ago. So we'll see how the market reacts initially. And then we'll see if anybody wants to buy the beans because of the strong demand outlook or the weather uncertainty as we go through the month of July and into August. It's uh, delivery time. There were 595 soybean deliveries, no meal, 1853 oil, 176 corn, and 391 wheat. Funds yesterday, big sellers in corn. They also sold beans, oil, wheat, and bought a little bit of meal. So they're going into the report, long beans, meal, a little bit of oil, long corn, and short wheat. So we'll see um, what the report says. We'll see what the export sales say. We'll see what Mother Nature has in store for us for the month of July, and then we'll feel, get a feeling for what the funds want to do with their positions. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.